Good morning. I'm Reverend Curtis Peak here at Congregational Church of the Chimes. I am so glad that you are joining us this morning. This is my first time doing this, so bear with me this morning. But it's a beautiful day outside, and I decided to come out into our garden. As you can hear the fountain in the background, we need to remember and remind ourselves that God is still in control. Before we start this morning, I would like uh, for us to take a few minutes, take a minute at least, and sit in quietness and hear the fountain and listen to the birds. Let us be quiet for one minute. Thank you. As many of you know, I work in the healthcare field. I run a surgery center over in Beverly Hills. That's my day job. And I want to let you know that things for me, I have not been working this week, which is fine. But I want you to know, wherever you go, and if you're out in public, please stay six feet away from people. Take your mask if you do have a mask. Take your gloves if you need gloves. And also, the main thing I can tell you is to take your hand sanitizer. So anything you touch, you can wipe your hands down before you get in your car, while you get in your car, while you're driving. That's what I do. Right now, this is a hard time for all of us in the world. But we have to remind ourselves that God is still in control. Jesus, he is calling us. This morning, I would like to share something with you. This is called Jesus is Calling. This is the time in your life when we, you, must learn to let go. We must learn to let go of loved ones. For me, my mother is in a nursing home right now and we cannot visit her. My sister can't visit her, but we have been allowed to FaceTime her one or two times. And also they have sent pictures of her. It's a hard time for us and my family, but we have learned to let go. I'm learning to let go. We need to learn to let go of loved ones. We need to learn to let go of our possessions. We need to learn to let go of control. In order to let go, there is something that we must remember, that we are precious to God. You need to rest in God's presence where we are complete. Take time to bask in the love and the light of God. As we relax more, God has us by the hand. And he's asking us to come to him. God will keep us in the palm of his hand. We have to remember we can feel secure with God, even in the midst of all that's going on in the world with all the changes. I know that it's hard to stay at home and sit inside. That's why I wanted to come outside this morning. But if you are home, sit by a window, open the window, listen to the birds, get fresh air if you can't go outside. I want you to remember, the one that loves us, God, he never leaves us. He's the same always. He's the same God he was yesterday. He's the same God that he is today. And he's the same God forever. God is with us. And as you release more and more things into God's care, remember that God will never let your hand go. God always holds your hand, which is no circumstance that he can, no one can take you from. God is with you. Always remember that. This morning, I would like to share with you from the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 27. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on a rock. 
and the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house. And that house fell, and great was the fall of it. This morning, as I read you that scripture, when as I was working on this, we all need to remind ourselves that we are that house. We are the house that God built. And the kingdom of God is with inside of us. And we have to remember that. And these times that we're living in right now, I know that we have to go deep inside. We have to go deep inside and we have to take care of ourselves mentally and physically. And the house is you. The house is us. Ask yourself, how is your house built? Are you standing on stone or are you feeling shaky on sand? Remember that God is with us. Remember that the faith that God has given us has given us the faith to stand on solid rock. And the rain, the rain that we're talking about in this scripture is just adversity. Right now that rain is the coronavirus. That rain is here. That rain is beating on us. If we stand on the rock that God has given us, we will know that we will not fall. We are not standing on sand. God is an awesome God, and he wants us to stand strong and know that he has us. God wants us to be present in his love. God wants us to be present in our faith. Here at Church of the Chimes, we are here for you. If you ever need to talk to myself or Dr. Bingham, we are here for you. We love you. We are standing on the solid ground here. And you must ask yourself today, tomorrow, what type of ground are you standing on? Are you standing on solid rock or are you standing on sand? Know that God has you standing on a solid rock. Believe in yourself. Believe that we will come through this. We are in this together. We are a church family. We are a family of Sherman Oaks. We are a family of California. We are a family of the United States of America. We are a family of the world. We are in this together. We must stand strong and be there for each other. If your neighbor needs help, help your neighbor. If your friend needs help, help your friend. Please be there for each other. I am so glad that I got a chance to share with you this morning what I am feeling. I look forward to talking to you once again. I look forward to being there for you along with Dr. Bingham, along with our church family here at Church of the Chimes. Our church office is here for you. The church office is closed, but please, you can call if you need help. Leave a message and someone will get back in touch with you as soon as possible. We love you here at Church of the Chimes. This morning, I would like to leave you with a prayer. A prayer that I prayed about two weeks ago in our last worship service in the sanctuary. And this prayer still stands strong today. So I would like to share this prayer with you as we bow our heads and we invite God into our kingdom, into our sanctuary of our hearts. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you travel through towns and villages and you cured every disease and illness. At your command, the sick were made well. Heavenly Father, we're asking you that you come to our aid now in the midst of the global spread of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. We're asking, Heavenly Father, that you heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain their strength and health through quality medical care. And Heavenly Father, we ask that you heal us from our fear, which prevents nations from working together and neighbors from helping one another. And Heavenly Father, heal us from our pride, which can make us claim invulnerability to the disease that knows no borders. And Heavenly Father, you are the healer of all. Stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. 
We ask that you be with those who have died from the virus. May they be at rest with you in your internal peace. And Heavenly Father, we ask that you be with the families of those who are sick or have died. As they worry and grieve, defend them from illness and despair. May they know your peace, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, we ask that you be with the doctors and nurses, the researchers, and all the medical professionals who seek to heal and help those affected and put themselves at risk in the process. May they know your protection and peace. And God, we ask that you be with the leaders of all nations. Give them the foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of the people they are meant to serve. And God, give them the wisdom to invest in long-term solutions that will help prepare for a, or prevent future outbreaks. And God, may they know your peace as they work together to achieve it here on earth. And whether we are at home or abroad, surrounded by many people suffering from this illness or only a few, Jesus Christ, we ask that you stay with us as we endure and mourn persist and prepare and heavenly father in place of our anxiety we ask that you give us peace a peace that surpasses all understanding and god we ask that you heal us you heal every one of us in your son's name we pray amen this sunday morning at 10 30 we ask that you join us live in our worship service in the sanctuary where myself, Dr. Bingham, Jane Poole, Greg, and Alan will be with us. It will be a wonderful service. And Dr. Bingham will be preaching at 1030. And the title of her sermon is Sheep or Goat. We love you here at Church of the Chimes, and we look forward to seeing you again. God bless you, and have a great weekend. Amen.